Crude Empire, I'm back with another video, man. As y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, I am bringing y'all a P.O. Box haul. Y'all have been showing hella love lately, so I thought I'd show some love back and help these smaller brands get out there because they make some fine shit for real, man. I'm a brand owner myself, so I know how hard it is to market and really get yourself out there, so I just thought I'd show some love back. Because y'all did not have to send me through these crazy pieces. I ain't gonna lie to you. If y'all want to send something through to my P.O. Box, man, it will be down in the description. And it is also on my Instagram and my highlights if you follow me on Instagram. So, yeah. Let's just get straight into this video because I got some fire shit I need to show y'all. This first piece is essential. I ain't gonna lie. And it is this white St. Valley tee. It has valley on the chest. And it's got this little texture uh, print to it. And I love that texture look. I'm not gonna lie. The fit is my favorite of this. It's crop and boxy sit right at the waist very essential you can't style this wrongly like you can wear this with any and everything and that's why i love it so much there's nothing on the back just this front hit they also made this tee in a black colorway i seen it on their instagram they got some sweatsuits double air tee so yeah y'all definitely make sure y'all go tap in with this brand man the second item is definitely one of my favorites that has been sent through my P.O. Box haul, if not my favorite, to be honest. And it is this crazy tee. Like, the details, details are immaculate. Like, there's so much going on, but it's just enough. Like, it's not too much, but it's not too little. It's literally right in the middle. Here's the front of it. Here's the back. I don't have anything green like this in my closet, so I was excited when they sent this through. The text on here is also textured, as y'all seen on the Valley tee. It's very popular right now for everybody to have that little wash texture look on their print. They got a number seven on the sleeve. They got like a hawk or an eagle on the side. The wash is crazy. They went with a brown neck like. Some thought definitely went into this tee and I like it. And it is super boxy as y'all can see. Look how boxy this is. Cropped and boxy is the way. If you're not making cropped and boxy pieces, I don't know what to tell you because it's in right now and that fit is just crazy. Like look at the wash on the back. And it's just OD boxy, and I love that OD boxy look. Also has a drop shoulder, and the sleeves are pretty long on it. I think the sleeves actually come right at my elbow, if not past my elbow. And just overall, this is a 5T, definitely a 10 out of 10. I can't even wait to throw a fit. Shoe First Studios on IG, man. Y'all go cop. Definitely crazy. Y'all probably already seen this before on IG. The third item we switching up a little bit. It's not a tee, and I'm low-key sad that I didn't get to wear this. It's a pair of shorts. It has set them on the front. It's camoed out. Real tree is in right now. Any real tree piece is definitely hot right now. I'm actually making a real tree piece for my brand right now as we speak because real tree been going crazy. These shorts fit below the knee just like I like them. The details are crazy. The fabric is soft. Seldom.png on Instagram. See, they got the custom tags. They got the custom tags. Also, just like all the other brands that I've showed y'all. And this strap reminds me of a um, a wallet chain. Like, I need a wallet chain. So if y'all know where to get some good wallet chains, let me know because I need a wallet chain. And it also has an adjustable strap right here so you don't need a belt. And one thing that me and my girlfriend realized the other day is nobody includes this on the inside of pants anymore. Like, why is that, bro? Why is that? Because I like that no belt look. So if a lot of other pants had this adjustable strap right here, it used to be in every pants to ever exist at one point. It was always in the waist and you didn't have to wear a belt. You can just fix it. But it's like nobody uses this strap anymore. So I definitely love that strap on this. These shorts are chef's kiss. Sits right below the knees. Y'all know I don't like little shorts anymore. I need my shorts big and well below my knees. Seldom.png on Instagram if y'all want to go cop. Definitely a crazy piece. And y'all see that they did the same texture as everybody else. Because it's five and it's in. So. so piece number four is from Sanction.us on Instagram. And it is this long sleeve right here with human faces and sanction. This gives me like a rock band vibe, like a one of those vintage tees they be having a rock band. So I definitely love the graphic on here because it gives me the vintage vibe. If y'all not new around here, y'all know I love my vintage tees. There's nothing on the back, just this front hit with these portraits with sanction, the brand name under it. And what I love the most about this is also the fit. If y'all send me pieces, bro. Make sure to fit A1 because the fit matters the most. The way the clothes fit matters the most. This is cropped. It has a raw edge bottom. As you can see, it is rolled up at the very bottom. And the sleeve is also raw edge too, and it's rolled up at the sleeve. If I remember correctly, this sits right over my wrist. That's the quality, the fit, the wash, everything is 
perfect on this tee. I can wear this with almost anything. This definitely fine. I got a fit coming with this also. Sanction.us on Instagram, you wanna cop. I told y'all, y'all been sending through some heat, man. I really appreciate y'all for sure. Brand number five, they sent through some sweats and they are these everyday wash red sweats. They had multiple colorways. They had a black I know for sure. This red, and I can't remember what other colors, but it was definitely a handful. So if y'all like them, y'all can definitely go check them out. The brand name is United Hall on Instagram. Some French Terry sweats. Love how they fit. French Terry, I'm in love with. It just gives that high-end look or feel to it when you uh, go with French Terry. The logo is here. It is embroidered. Nothing on the back. That's the only logo on here. One pocket. The only thing about this brand, low key, I remember where the brand is from. But if I had to tell you one thing, make sure you get you some custom tags, gang. Because if I just didn't remember the name or I wasn't able to search it up on Instagram, I wouldn't know the brand name. So make sure you put custom tags so people can easily tell other people what your brand name is and you can be easily identifiable. But other than that, these are definitely crazy. The fit is tough. I'm lacking sweat, so I was happy when he sent this through. Definitely in my weekly rotation. So yeah, United Hall on Instagram. All right, so this next brand sent through multiple pieces. They actually sent through three pieces, and they actually told me they're gonna send through another piece, and I hate that it's not here on time, but hey, we finna rock out these three pieces that they sent me, because they all tough. The first piece that they sent me is this wash brown zip up. This is crazy, this is crazy. I don't know if this is leather or what. I think this is leather, and it's embroidered on has the snake skin S's and some black S's. I really like that, man. I've actually never seen this. I don't think I haven't owned a piece that has done something like this, but it's definitely crazy. There's nothing on the back, and I was wondering how it would look on the back with these S's all over. I think it was a good decision just to leave it on the front. The back might have been doing too much. It was a perfect execution and call right there. Then they got the seamless hood. Love seamless hoods. Seamless hoods go crazy. The wash on this is crazy. The fit on this is crazy. This is French Terry also, so you know I'm in love with it. French Teasy. You know you gotta go French Teasy. Really not too much to say about this. B Top Shelf on Instagram is the brand name if y'all wanna go copy. Definitely a high quality piece. All they pieces high quality from what I can see. Then they sent through a sweatsuit also. Here's the hoodie. It says enemy on the front with a star. Give you that Y2K look. And it also has the same thing on both sides. Then it has the same thing on the sleeves on both sides. There's nothing on the back. They left the strings in on this hoodie, which I'm actually surprised that they did because most brands nowadays, y'all know, people don't be rocking with the strings, so they usually take it out. But they left it in, and I'm honestly not against it. The way that this hoodie is set up, I'm honestly not against it. I low-key wish they would have went seamless hood on this also, but I guess all your pieces can't be the same. But then again, it can at the same time. Here's the bottom. The bottom has this raw, this very raw hem. I've washed this already, so you know it gets worse and worse, but honestly better and better in my opinion. This raw end, it just gets more and more distressed the more you wash it. The raw bottom brings character to the hoodie. Really not too much more to say about it. It fits a little oversized in my opinion. So yeah, if I wanted to give you some advice too, my guy, you need, to, you need to make sure you add a size tag on here and a custom label. But this also might have been a sample or, or something like that. I'm, I'm honestly not sure, but definitely need to add a size tag. Definitely need to add a size tag and your own custom tags in the middle. Because like I said, if I didn't know the brand and it wasn't in my head or I couldn't look it up on Instagram, I wouldn't be able to tell people where I got this from or even what size I got because I don't even know what size. So definitely make sure you add that in there, twin. Here are the matching sweats that go along with it. These are the jogger style, unlike the first pair. In my opinion, jogger style and just open leg sweats, they're both in. It really depends on which look you're going for that day. It has the same enemy and star print on both sides of the leg as well, just like the hoodie. And I love these sweats. They're pretty comfortable, can't lie. I need to get a fit off with these, but I don't know exactly what I wanna wear. So I only got two more brands left and they both are heat, they're both hitters. Everything in this video will be heat in my opinion, but y'all let me know which piece of y'all rock down in the comments. This next piece y'all done probably seen all over the place. They make plenty of the knitted sweaters, cardigans. Their pieces are high quality, like the pieces are crazy. Like this piece I'm holding in my hand is heavy as hell. Like it's probably like five pounds, I cannot lie to you. And it is this, 
I think it's called like a rugby tee. I think it's called a rugby shirt, if I'm not mistaken. And it is from Wisdom of Age New York NY on Instagram. It's crazy. And it's low key, y'all already knowing it's gonna hurt my arms if I hold it up for too long. The color ways that they be having are crazy. This is their logo. It is embroidered on the front. This fits oversized. This is a medium. As y'all know, this is a small actually, and I'm 5'10, 165, so it definitely runs oversized. You see, they have the branding and they also have the size on here. So it's gonna be very easy for me to think of their brand name and tell y'all where this is from. Wisdom of age. So I can spread the word very, very easy. Here's the back. They have a little logo here behind the neck embroidered as well. The colors go crazy. And my arm hurting from holding this up, I'm not gonna lie. They even have embroidery on the sleeve right here. So all of their hits on this piece are embroidered. I already took a fit pick up with this on Instagram. It went dumb. My most liked picture on Instagram got 11,000 likes. So yeah, make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram if y'all having it. If y'all want me and y'all pieces, send it through because I'm gonna style it if it's crazy. So I definitely style this. And I got a lot of pieces in this pile that I wanna style also. So yeah, send through y'all pieces. I will post it if it's fine, if I have a crazy fit. So yeah, send, send them pieces through, gang. Definitely crazy. Not too much more to say about this. If y'all don't know about them, y'all definitely need to go tap in. They got some crazy high quality pieces. So for the last and final brand, they switched up a little bit. They sent me some accessories. And I actually love these accessories, but I haven't been able to style them just yet and one of them I, I don't know when I'll honestly be able to style I might twist my hair or braid my hair just to wear it bro and it is this trucker hat right here this trucker hat is dumb this trucker hat goes dumb I love the glittery look right here that Y2K look like this is so fine bro like a guy can wear this a girl can wear this definitely unisex and I'm gonna have to get a crazy fit off in this Christopher Kites on Instagram. He sells chains, he sells hats. He sells a lot of good accessories, so y'all definitely need to tap in. This is the hat he sent. I haven't been able to wear it yet. It's sad I haven't been able to wear it yet, so I need to twist my hair, braid my hair, not lock my hair. I'm not locking my hair, that's kind of OD. I'm not locking my hair. But my, I might twist or braid it just so I can style this and throw this on. And like I said, he do sell chains. Also, he sells these clear chains and it's so tough i wore this out once on a night out and i got a lot of compliments on it it's definitely tough here's the pendant that he sent through for this one here's the pendant that he sent through man crazy the details are crazy i've really never seen nothing like this before like the pieces that he make are crazy and i really ain't seen nothing like before but this is definitely some fire eyes and he also sent through another pendant he showed hella love this is a jesus piece so if y'all want some ice or some different accessories y'all can definitely go tap in with him because he sent through some fire shit and i just ain't been able to style it quite yet wore the chain out once haven't got to where it is so these pieces definitely finna be in my rotation so yeah, that is the video, man. Let me know what y'all think about these pieces. Like I said, y'all have been sending through crazy pieces in my opinion. There's not one piece in this pile that I don't like. So keep sending through heat. I just thought I'd show some love back since y'all been showing love to me. I'm gonna help y'all get out there. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this video so it can go viral. And if you see your piece and it made this P.O. Box haul, Make sure y'all comment down below and let everybody know where they can cop, man. But I'm gonna put all the links in the description. So like I said in the beginning, my P.O. box will be down in the, the... Damn, I can't talk no more. If you wanna make the next P.O. box haul, make sure y'all send some pieces through to my P.O. box. It's in my Instagram highlights, and I'm also gonna throw it down in the description, man. Y'all been sitting through some crazy pieces. I can't wait to style all these pieces, and I can't wait to see what else comes in my P.O. box. It low-key be like Christmas. It's like a mystery. I go in there, I open it up. Sometimes there's stuff in there, sometimes it ain't. I typically check once a week, so I go pretty frequently. Crude Empire, I'm out.